Hi, I'm Yaw Gray with Century 21 Connect Realty. Today I'm going to give you a few tips about staging your house and getting it ready to sell. First of all, I want to tell homeowners, it starts at the curb. You know, this is, this is going to be on you. So what I want you to do is when you're ready to sell your house, take a step back, get off your front porch, get off your front patio, get out of even your front lawn, go across the street, look at your house from as wide an angle as you can, and scan it. You know, is everything that I see right here going to appeal to most people? Do I need to get the weed eater over there and trim it up? You know, is this bird feeder or bottle tree in the front yard, is that appealing to everybody? What I may challenge you to do is get a friend, a relative, even a neighbor, and get their honest opinion about it because you're gonna be, you know, you're not gonna see your own warts, unfortunately. So you may want to ask somebody else, uh, you know, hey, what do you, what do you think about this bird feeder? Do you think I need to move this? Uh, are there too many chairs up here? Are there not enough chairs? You know, stage the front. The, the, the first impression is everything. The second thing I can tell you about outside is a small can of exterior white paint can go a long way. We all have areas, trim work around our house that just, you know, isn't up to snuff, especially around doors. Um, anything like that, you know, I'm talking a, an eight, nine, ten dollar small can of paint, um, that can take you no time to fix. And it could definitely make your house pop and, and make it look a lot better than it did. Uh, the next thing let's talk about when you walk in. Let's remember, the home buyer, this is an experience for them. They're walking into other people's houses and it's all foreign, so we want them to be comfortable. And what I mean by that is it's, it's not just what they see. This is an experience, it's what they smell, it's how they feel. So what they smell, let's take out the garbage. Let's get a fresh garbage bag in there. Get the garbage bags, go to Walmart, get the ones that, you know, that smell good now, the, the scented garbage bags. Those are fantastic. Uh, you know, if you're a pet owner, let's, you know, let's tighten up the kitty litter, the bird cage, the herbitarium, whatever you may have, let's, let's get it, let's get it right. You know, let's, let's make sure it's in, in good, good standing. Um, secondly, I'd say look around your doors, door jams. Again, buy you one of those magic erasers from Walmart, the little white sponges. Uh, I think they're the ones that got the big bald guy on there. Little bit of water, it's all it takes. Go up and down your door jams, clean your doors and your door jams. You'd be shocked at how dirty those are. So let's get those in good shape. Um, again, we we'll go back to smells. Let's put some air fresheners out in high traffic areas. Those can make people feel a lot better. Set the radio on low. Sometimes that can help people. You know, you walk in, you know, you got a little music playing. You know, I'm not saying this isn't, you know, a night out at the Roxbury, but, you know, have something that, that you know, would be warm and inviting and you never know. It may hide, maybe you have a, an air register that rattles a little bit or something like that. Maybe it'll divert their attention away from that. Um, Last thing, again, all about being comfortable, open up your blinds, you know. Let's have, let's have some natural light in there. You know, sometimes a bunch of fluorescent lights isn't gonna really, you know, isn't that inviting, but if you can open up the blinds, get as much natural light in there, then that's gonna help out. And then the last thing, comfortable. Let's get the air set, 73, 74, 75, somewhere in there when people walk in, it feels good. If you're like me and you got some of these automated uh, thermostats, Make sure you take care of that. I know when I leave, my air goes up to 78, 79, and unfortunately what happens when you do that is some smells kind of come out. You know, your house smells different when it's hot than when it's cold. So same reason in the, in the uh, when you go to the grocery store in the meat department, it's real cold back there. Obviously that cuts down, it, it preserves the meat, but it also cuts down on a lot of bad smells. So just remember that, have your air in that 75 degree area, 74, 73, um, have it comfortable, have your house warm and inviting, cluttered free, easy to move along, and we'll get your house sold in no time. If you have any questions, feel free to call me, 662-312-5528. Thanks for your time.